Yeah. I think so, yeah. That's been working. As I said, did your exercises, yeah. they're helping me. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for that. That's, that's really, really good. Well, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more you can do. And I think at the moment it might be a good idea to um, re-clarify that kind of body-mind connection. So get yourself comfortable and I'll do my stuff and then we'll we'll take it from there. So get yourself as comfortable as you can whilst you're sat up, right? Yeah. And I want you to um, just... Can you look at a spot on the ceiling? Just look at a spot. That's it. Yeah, okay. So just keep looking at a spot on the ceiling and quite soon your eyes will become tired. Though not yet. Just keep looking at a spot on the ceiling. Whenever you want to relax, if you get a little bit stressed or whatever, just do this. Just just look as high as you can and pick a spot on the ceiling and then just take some deep breaths and just recognise that you can allow, hear the word, you can allow your focus to soften. So you're not really staring anymore, you're just kind of gazing if you're gazing out of a window, not really looking at anything, and allow your body to begin to relax. Now the tiniest muscles in the entire body are the eyelids. That's right, so the eyelids are the first to get tired. That's why people nod off in a boring lecture or on a long journey. Their eyelids start to get really, really tired and people kind of fight that and they try to keep their eyes open and the more you try to keep your eyes open the more those eyelids now just want to close when your eyelids do close you'll be able to bring your head to a more comfortable position and we will continue from then on but take some deeper breaths now and I want you to recognize that you're going to breathe out much longer than you breathe in. Just notice that when you relax, you breathe out <sighs> much longer than you breathe in. So count. When you breathe in, just naturally, just count. Maybe count to four as you breathe in. And when you breathe out, <sighs> you'll probably count to about eight or more. And that number will begin to lengthen. So you'll be taking less breaths per minute and your body and mind will be getting more oxygen because you'll actually be breathing deeper. Now those tiny little muscles in the eyelids are getting more and more tired and nothing would give you greater pleasure than to allow those eyelids to close in a very kind of heavily lidded manner. That's right. And as the eyelids kind of melt down into the cheeks, you feel a profound sense of comfort and ease. And you bring your tilt of your head to a more comfortable position as every cell of your body begins to slow down. Slow down now. As your breathing is slower, your breathing is slower, your heart begins to get slower and more strong. So the breath gets slower and stronger, the heart gets slower and stronger. And I would like you now to put one of your hands on where you think your heart is. Put the palm of your hand on your heart and just notice if you can feel the beating of your own heart and just allow it to slow right down. Everything slows down now. You can always tell how someone is feeling by how quickly they are breathing. So when somebody is excited or frightened and they're breathing much quicker, you know their heart is racing and it's going much quicker than yours is now. And you can allow your heart 
to be powerful within your chest as you develop that sense of calm and ease listening to the sound of my voice there's no place for you to go there's nothing for you to do the loudest sound you hear is the sound of my voice everything else just washes over you and helps you to relax that's right just drifting along on the rise and fall of your own body the trillions of cells that make up your body are now feeling a profound sense of relief because all the work they've been doing to cleanse you to rid you of all the toxins and all the built-up stuff within all the tissues it's now a far easier job for them your body is relaxing you're feeling a profound sense of relief and now allow those hands to meet I want you to hold your own hand as you've done before hold your own hand and as soon as you do so, I want you to feel a wave of perfect relaxation flow through your entire body. It's flowing now from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. A profound sense of comfort and ease as you sink down into the support of the chair down into the support that is there allow your body to become very pleasantly heavy loose limp and relaxed allow your head to be supported if you have to shuffle down in the chair a little bit that's right very pleasantly supported now so that every muscle, nerve and fibre of your being is supported as it sinks down into the chair feeling the support that is there give in to gravity that's what you do when you wrap yourself up in the covers and put your head on the pillow in the privacy of your own bed you give in to gravity Allow it to work for you. Allow your body to really relax down deeper. We're going to count from seven to one. It's something you can do yourself too. Imagine going down a staircase, very wide, very safe staircase and with each descending number it gets easier to relax with each descending number you double the sense of relaxation you have right now with each descending number you go deeper within yourself as relaxed as you think you now are you know there is further to go so let's begin with seven going down and a deep breath in on six and now five four perfectly relaxed totally in harmony mind and body harmonize 
more than that even, you are harmonizing now the past, the present and the future. People go on about the past and quite often we get pulled into the past. But that thing that I just said about the past, you know, that's in the past now. All that we have is the present moment. And do you know the future creates the present far more than the past ever could? If that sounds strange, think about it for a moment. The only reason we go to the shop is to buy things that we are going to eat, to buy things that we're going to read in the future. We act in the present moment because of the future. If it's somebody's birthday, we go and buy them a present or a card. In the present moment, we are always constantly preparing for the future. The future creates the present far more than the past ever could. How very interesting that the way we feel in the present moment is all about how we want to be in the future. And the present moment now becomes so important to you, right here, right now. Everything from the past and everything from the future meets here in the present moment and because of the past you want the better future because of the best future your best future self you are here in the present moment relaxing relaxing your body at ease and imagine yourself now as your body becomes even more heavy as you sink down into the chair the more Physically relaxed and physically heavy your body feels, the lighter part of you feels, so that you can now float and drift above your sleeping body, looking down. Looking down at your sleeping, relaxed body. Looking down, and now do that pat on the back again. You pat yourself on the back, figuratively speaking, for how far you've come, and what you want for yourself and what you are doing for yourself because you've begun to recognize the more you care for yourself the healthier, fitter, stronger, the clearer thought that you have the more other people actually like you the more they respect you the more they love you you now know that your self-esteem how you regard yourself is growing you are so very proud of yourself in a good, balanced, healthy way. You take good care of you and you are always there for you. You remember at some point being a little boy, couldn't wait to grow up, to be big and strong and to do what you wanted to do. And what you want to do now is the best you possibly can for yourself. You are from moment to moment now recognizing how miraculous this body of yours is, how it recovers, how it rebuilds tissue, blood, bone. You live in this tremendously intricate, fabulous biochemical machine. Your thoughts can be so very quick. You know how dexterous your fingers can be and how active your mind is too. And whilst you might not be doing very much in the whole scheme of things, at the moment, travelling from place to place, maybe, no. But your mind is active and your body is doing wonderfully well. I want you to now notice as good as you feel right now and as proud of yourself as you can be right now and as proud as your parents are and everybody that loves you now just imagine what that's going to be in a week's time a month's time a year's time five years 
ten years, everything gets better from this point in time. Here, as you hover above your wonderfully relaxed, healthy, brilliant body, I want you to do something very, very special. In a moment, in your mind's eye, you are going to travel to the future. You don't yet know just how good it's going to be. In a moment, your future self will call you forward. So in your mind's eye, when I click my fingers, you will be catapulted into the future, your best possible future. And you will sense yourself, your future self, whether it's weeks, months or years into the future, your best possible future, the future that you know at the back of your mind you always wanted your best possible self. You're going to notice how you are dressed, what he is doing, how he feels about life, how he's got his hair, who he's with, whether he's alone or with others, what his self-esteem's like, what his physicality is like. In a moment, when I click my fingers, it's going to be like you are transported. You'll be like a ghost to him. You will be his past self. In a moment then, and I click my fingers, you will be there. So, here you are. I want you to notice him. What he's doing whether it's inside or outside, alone or with others, the expression on his face. And just notice him. And he senses you. Everything slows down and maybe even freezes for him as he turns and in ways he cannot quite explain, he just remembers being you, your age, sitting in that chair, and he is so very grateful. He'll call it a memory. Oh yes, I remember. Everything changed from that point on. Everything got better. And he is so very grateful for you, for being there for him. He owes you his life. Like the best brother anybody could have, this is your brother in time, your future self. So very grateful for you. His body is super fit and healthy. He doesn't allow anything that would corrupt any of his cells into his body. Notice, he just seems to radiate health and happiness, joy. Finding joy in the slightest thing, loving and caring and so confident and every right to be. Confident in that good way, you know? Confident that people just know they can rely on him because he takes good care of himself. He's going to take good care of others too. He has all the resources of the whole of the mind. His senses are very acute. Eyesight hearing, sense of smell, touch, taste, and an innate awareness of life around him. And you know, there might have been some things in his environment he wasn't quite happy with when he was you, but he worked on it. 
he improved things. He gravitated towards places and people that nourished his soul, that made him happy. He followed his heart. Just notice him. And then in the same way that you got there, you come back now. And you will remember. And any time when it's safe and appropriate to do so, you'll just daydream in that kind of, ooh, what if sort of a way. You just focus on what is important to you, being the best version of yourself. Because before you are several timelines and you are gravitating towards the best possible one for you. You feel your way by being as strong, resilient, happy and healthy as you possibly can be. And you naturally are guided towards your best possible future. All the stresses and strains of life just fall away as all you really want is happiness, joy, love, bringing harm to none and happiness to many. Now, time to go deeper, time to relax 100 times more than you are right now. Go deeper now. 100 times more relaxed. That's right. Ah, down to those deeper levels of mind. Well, everything is right, even those things that aren't quite. Everything is right now. That's it, all the way down. And even as I speak to you, you don't have to listen. You can allow my words to drift through your mind like clouds drifting by a blue sky. You can allow my words to flow through your mind like leaves floating down a mountain stream. And you are so very connected now to nature. You may not have thought about it very much before, or maybe you have, but now you have a fascination. What used to be just a walk is now a phenomenal adventure into how the trees are changing, the leaves are falling, how the colours around you are all changing with the season, how you get excited by the touch of the air on your face when you leave the house, and how your body responds, and how when it's cold outside it's so nice to come back in because your cheeks start to glow and pick up the heat of the house as soon as you come through the door. You be begin to become amazed how your body adapts. Maybe you haven't thought about it before. As you walk, you recognise now how complicated it is. They've only just been able to devise a robot that NASA has developed to actually go up a flight of steps. It's so very complicated. All the tiny little bones and muscles in your body just to put one foot in front of the other. The spine, the legs, the gluteus maximus, the calves, the ankles. You know this because sometimes you might have had a pain in one part of the body and now you just take it for granted, don't you? You just put your foot in front of another and you just get that momentum going and it's such a complicated thing to a robot you are far superior you are a biochemical machine the blood pumps a bit faster so that you can use those long strong muscles in the legs to just walk 
you remember what it was like to be on the bicycle and how great it was to put that effort, extra effort in to go uphill and then wee downhill. There's more excitement in nature than you anticipated. You start to notice things, birds flying above your head or a certain gap in the clouds that lets through a little bit of blue or maybe there's some moisture in the air. It's not quite raining yet but you know it's about to. Maybe you might even as the months progress sense snow before it actually falls. The seasons are always changing and your body is now moving, changing and evolving. Your body is regenerating bone, blood, tissue all of the time. In seven years time you get a completely new body. Your body is always repairing itself. If you get a tiny little scratch on the back of your hand, you hardly notice it. And within a couple of days it's completely gone. Isn't it wonderful how the body repairs without you having to pay any conscious attention to it? You are part of nature. You are rebuilding and repairing right now. And you do all that you can to help this body, this temple that you inhabit, that you are in for the rest of your life. Oh, you can get a new car, you can get a new phone, you can even get one of these Nintendo thingies, these switches, rather than your DS. You can get new technology, you never get another body. So you give it all the help you can right now by eating healthy, nutritious foods and flushing it out with that clear, fresh, pure water as you are. Because you know where you're headed. You know how good life is is and can be. You are connected to your future self. You are also connected now to your higher self. There is a part of you always standing by, ready to help you now, your higher self, who knows intimately all about you, your past, your present and your future and your future self is relying on you calling your name pinning all his hopes on you your future self loves you you are learning to love yourself. And what is love but respect, intimacy, attention, joy, care, everything that over time your parents have bestowed upon you? Oh yes, you've had your moments, of course. People that really love each other always fall out occasionally because you can tell each other the truth and if you don't you know you'll be found out. Though the best aspects of love. You now give yourself as much love, care, respect, attention, joy that you can muster. Because you also remember yourself as a child. That inner child of yours the inner self that just wants to play and just wants to be grown up and powerful and be able to do what he wants to do without being told what to do by anybody else. Now you are that grown up and you can take care of that little boy that wants to play sometimes though you also know how to protect him. And you wouldn't be pouring vodka down his throat, would you? And you wouldn't 
hurt him in any way. You will no longer hurt yourself in any way. There is no need to hurt yourself. That little boy that you were looks up to you. Look at you, all grown up. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be that man one day. He looks up to you, wants you to play with him, care for him, hold his hand, tell him you will always be there for him, as if you could put your arms around him now and assure him of his future. Oh, there might be some tough times ahead, but you know, I'm always there for you. I'm always there for you. And you and I have got this wonderful future together, you tell him. There's more for us to do. And we can just go for a walk and feel the weather on our faces, on our skin, the moisture in the air, the little bit of blue sky when it shows, the rain, the frost, the sunshine, the warmth, the wind, or the stillness of the day. As you walk along, you may hear the crunch of leaves or twigs under your feet. You may see those panting, breathless joggers going round and round in circles, not even noticing the squirrels or the hedgehogs or the birds. They're just concerned with their own stuff going round and round in circles. And you, you start to notice things. You start to notice how nature operates. You start to notice that the seasons are always changing and that you make the most of every single day. This is time out for you. Time for you. This is your time now and you know how to do what you do, to breathe in, through, out and in your time now. And you know how. You're all grown up and you are connected to all of the resources of the whole of the mind. Nothing goes into this mouth, over those lips, onto that tongue, down that throat, into your stomach, and through the 22 feet of intestines. Nothing goes into that mouth that is not healthy, wonderful, vibrant, colourful, tasteful, and good for this body. If you ever, ever think about putting that alcoholic acid into that mouth, onto that tongue. Yes, why would anybody do that? <laughs> mm. And maybe the coughing fit you had in the night was you remembering how horrible it is to put anything acid into this body. You take good care of you. The soft, pink, moist, vulnerable, tender inside of your mouth makes you remember exactly what your body's like on the inside and you care for yourself from the inside out now you've noticed the improvements that you have made over the past few days just imagine now everything getting even better with each passing day your cells are revitalizing themselves. They are full of grateful thanks for you taking good care of them. Just like people polish their cars, 
you polish yourself. You polish the gift that you are to yourself. And the people that you choose to share yourself with are grateful for you taking good care of you. You are so proud of yourself and quite rightly so because you shine with energy, vibrancy, health and vitality. And when it's time to relax, you just switch off enraptured in the comfort and ease and the privacy of your own bed as your head goes on the pillow and you pull the covers around you you sink down into that lovely comfortable warmth and you just float away drifting into the best possible sleep that wishful thinking of all the wonderful things that are ahead of you liaising talking with your future self wondering with joy just exactly how you're gonna get there but you know that you'll get there because just like a child always wants a brand new toy or maybe even plays with the cardboard box the toy came in you'll always strive for something better something more something sleeker faster quicker just like the next bicycle remember your first bicycle and what bicycle you had next and as a teenager and now goodness how things improve always something faster sleeker better than the time before isn't it wonderful how times have moved on and you can always get something that's better and more inspiring that you've always got something to aim for that you can always make your environment better somehow some way getting involved and moving yourself into a state of bliss as you do that now, think about how you feel when everything is easier than before and you look forward to things being even better than you could possibly imagine. In a moment, you will come back to conscious awareness Though you will have a memory of your future self to look forward to, to strive for with ease and comfort and joy. Just like you can remember being a young boy looking forward to growing up, you now look forward to getting older. Because with each passing day, you are more mature, more healthy, more wise, more grateful for this life and this body that you inhabit. Everything is easier than before. Everything is getting better. And you are so appreciative now of just being able to walk and experience, hear the word, experience life. Experience nature. Feel your way. Smell. Some people have lost their sense of smell. Smell everything, even the bad stuff. All the information life gives you through the nose, through the ears, through the eyes. And all those children, all the noise from the children, each joy. They're just running around in a way to feel good. Just let them do their stuff and remind you of what it's like to be grateful that you're a grown-up and also remember the freedom of being a young kid. Just making up games so that you could run just for the hell of it. Just run around. Just have that rapport with nature. Just enjoy getting breathless once in a while. Enjoy getting cold so that you can come back into the warmth and be all snuggly again. You are now really appreciative of how your body does all the things that it naturally does. You are part of nature. You are part of it all. And you are connected to all of the resources of the whole of the mind. 
body and mind harmonize past present and future harmonize you know so very much now because of your past because of the future you enjoy the present moment taking this time out to restore your energies to enjoy the comforts that life can give you right now as if you are cradled as if you are held and nurtured so that you can get the strength you need to gather your resources to follow your heart to begin to find your feet for the next step from this moment on you focus on what is important to you and in a moment You'll come back to full conscious awareness, feeling good, feeling better than before. Every night you sleep deeply and awaken with a bright, delightful alertness, ready for the next day, wondering what the day will give you, wanting to get out there and experience life, to talk to people, to get responses. You're not going to like everything. Life is full of contrasts. The more you don't, more that you know what you don't like, the more you know what you do like. You're going to point yourself in the direction of really understanding you, your body, your present, and your future. Yes, in a moment you'll come back to full conscious awareness, feeling good, feeling better than before, knowing that what you've put in place lasts. A lifetime building upon health vitality good feelings following your heart following your heart you let your higher self guide you you see emotions they're to point you in the right direction they're to steer you away from stuff you don't like and gravitate towards what you do like and if you don't yet know what you do like, you need to get out more. You need to find your way. And maybe getting out there is more getting out there on the computer. Joining groups. I don't know. Join a choir. Go on a bicycle ride with people. I don't know. You do. There is a part of you that knows how to guide you now. And your emotions will let you know. As soon as you go to sleep, whenever you allow yourself to relax completely, you will have inspiration from spirit in spirit inspiration from your higher self you will become more enthusiastic for life more appreciative more guided more loving more compassionate more clear thinking more healthy more fit there is so much good in store for you Yes, in a moment, you'll come back to full conscious awareness, looking forward to going to sleep in the privacy of your own bed so that you can have those deeper levels of experience throughout the night. Every night you are reconnected with your higher self. Every night you look forward to the future, creating the best you can be in the present moment, following your heart. I'm going to count from one to five. When I reach the number five, your eyes will open like you've had a long and peaceful sleep. Part of you remembers everything I have said and you know you are always there for you. Everything that you have learned, everything that you have experienced, everything that has led to this present moment serves you well. You hold your own hand. You take three deep, easy breaths. And you are centered and relaxed and calm and looking forward to the future. One, rising up like a beautiful bubble to the surface of the sea. Two, feeling balanced and perfect, perfect and balanced, balanced in every way. Three, coming up further now, calmly confident and completely relaxed. Four, these good feelings stay with you now and forever and you do not allow anything to spoil it. These good feelings 
stay with you now and forever. That's now and tomorrow and the day after and the day after that, everything getting better and better and better and better. You take good care of your physical self, your emotional self, your mental self and your spiritual self and nothing goes into this body that would harm the body in any way. Everything is different now. And five, open your eyes, stretch and smile. Oh, very nice. Very good. I'm not putting on my feet now, I'm saying that much. Yeah, very good. <laughs>